Welcome to Wealth in Your Sleep. My name is Wes. I want to teach you how to add buttons to your emails to improve the attraction and also the click-through rates in your emails. It's really easy. It's a simple four-step process. You're going to need somewhere to build your emails. You're going to need an email provider to send your emails to your leads. You're also going to need Canva, which is an, an awesome design software and they also have a mobile app that's really good on phones and devices and also you're going to need an image hosting place and all of the stuff that i just mentioned will be linked below in the description um, so let's get started so adding buttons can really improve your click-through rate and the attractiveness of your emails and it's a really easy process okay people want to click on buttons they don't want to click on hyperlinks and just plain links in an email, okay? So people are already skeptical about opening emails from all the scammers out there and all the, you know, fishers, I guess it would, you would call them. So adding buttons can really improve your attractiveness and also adding an image can also improve the attractiveness of your emails, okay? And it's really easy. So first, you want somewhere to build your email so click the very first link in the description and you can build your emails there and i will show you how to do that and then next you're going to need canva okay that's also linked below so what i do is i'll come over here to create a design and then do a custom size and you can so the smallest you can go on here for height is 40 px or pixels so what I'll do is I'll go 160 by 40, okay? So it's gonna be 160 pixels wide and 40 high, okay? So create new design, okay? And you're gonna to need to go to elements, okay? So go to lines and shapes. And I like to use round buttons or round edge buttons, but you can choose whatever you want. If you want a block one, you can pick a block one. Okay, and then and then you're just gonna wanna drag it all the way to the edge, side to side, top to bottom. Okay, and then you're gonna wanna change the color. Okay, so I recommend something very, uh, I would say, attractive maybe like a green or a blue something dark enough to be seen in light and dark okay so i i think i like to choose like a like a greenish blue like this or maybe even like this this would also be a good option okay so i'm just going to select this one for time sake purposes so now you're going to want to add uh well, I like to add triangles, okay? So I'll add a triangle and then I'll rotate it like, like such, 90 degrees, so it's pointing to the right, okay? And then what I'll do is I'll copy and paste, okay? Allow, paste, okay? And then you're gonna want to find the center and you can see that there's a giant line that's going across, that means you're at the center. So I'll go all the way till the block, the line, see right there, there's a box. I wait till that shows up and then I stop. And I'll do the same with this one, okay? And then I'll change the color of these, these arrows to a blue. I like to use blue, okay? So you pick your blue, whatever blue you want. Um, probably a dark blue would be good. Yeah, a dark blue, okay and then choose that one to be blue as well. So you want them to be the same. And then you're going to want to add a call to action. So I will click text and then grab a heading, okay? So now you're going to, you're gonna pick a call to action. So if you want it to be start now, start here, apply here, click here, watch here, these are all examples of buttons, um, but I will, for time's sake purposes, I will just put start now. Okay, and then I'm going to increase the size of this text. 
and I'm going to drag it to the center. And I'm going to find a size that I think is going to be, oh, and I like to use caps locks. So start here, okay? And then I'm going, since it's a darker button, I'm going to change the color of the text to white, okay? And then also to create an awesome outline of your letters, you can go to effects and then go to shadow, okay? And then change the color of the shadow to black, okay? So that about does it, okay? And what you can do is you can, once you're done with this, you can download it like such. I'll show you how to download it. So you click share and I download a PNG file and then I use transparent background. So this is a pro feature, but if you have not created a Canva account, I believe you get pro features for the first 30 days. So go ahead, click that link in the description for Canva and create as many buttons as you think you might want. And then also do a bunch of color variations for all of the call to actions. Okay, so this is it. So you'll definitely want to name it. So I, you can just put start now, maybe button. All right. And then go to download, PNG, transparent background, download. Okay. Um, we will just go to pictures, I guess. Start now button. Okay. And then if you wanted to create a copy okay so now you have your button so now you're going to need an image hosting soft a place to host your images now some of the the providers host images like get response and and um, probably mailchimp and aweber and a lot of these big name mailing services probably do it but i use my own called imgbb and you can upload you can use their free service and upload images okay so now i just uploaded that image so i'm going to add it and upload okay so now i'm going you're going to want to use the direct link okay if you're using IMGBB, you're gonna to want to use a direct link. All right, now let me show you how to use this, okay? So you're gonna to wanna to copy this, okay? And then you're going to want to click this little picture button. It's an insert image. And then you're going to want to paste that image link right here, okay? So it's gonna show up here, 40 by 160. And it's locked make sure it's locked i like to change it to 30 and it'll automatically resize it and then you're going to want to link it so wherever you want to link it like uh i'll just put google https colon slash slash google.com okay and then if you want to open a new window, you can obviously select that there. But for this, this purpose, I'm just gonna put this, okay? So it's gonna look something like this, or you can see over here, it looks like that. So pretty similar. Now, you could see based on my, my preview right here, that the E kind of flows into the triangle. So it might be better to use a smaller size font if that is the case, but this is a fully clickable button now. And if I click it, it's gonna take me to Google, okay? So that is a very simple yet easy way to do it. You just need somewhere to build your emails. You need Canva to, to build your buttons. You need an image hosting software and you need uh, an emailing service to mail your leads, okay? So I hope this brought you some value. 
If it did, please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell notification so you see all my videos coming out, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Wes. Have a great day.